Continuing with the rebound tonight as WRTV keeps an eye on efforts to get Hoosiers to the other side of the pandemic. For people who have served their debt to society and are preparing to leave prison, life on the outside brings extra challenges these days when you throw in the COVID-19 pandemic. Tonight, I show you a fairly new program focusing on the health of those experiencing their newly found freedom. I went from being a piece of crap to, 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 to humbling myself before God. Spend a few minutes talking to Charles Miller, and you quickly learn he wants to make better choices for a better life for himself now that he's out of prison. It's hard to, you know, to talk to people, man, to show that you meant that same person that you was that many years ago, man. Charles was convicted in the mid-90s for burglaries and other serious aggressive crimes. The punishment? 26 years in state prison. He's been out since March. No matter how much time you spend, 30 days or 30 years, you know, it, it ain't, you know, you something changes, you know, uh, inside of you, you know. And if you didn't have good skills before you got locked up, you sure in the hell ain't got them when you get out, you know. And you can't do it without people, man. You know, and that was my biggest barrier. I didn't want to, I didn't want to trust nobody. But now, bit by bit, Charles is gaining the confidence and help to be successful on the outside thanks to a fairly new program and way of thinking at the Indiana Department of Correction, focusing on what administrators are calling transitional health care. Don't wait for them to get out and fail. Address the issues that we know inside, transition them out to home hopefully to never come back to us. Christine Daniel is the director of transitional health for the IDOC. She says this new approach helps fill the gaps for people leaving the prison system, adjusting to new freedom. So maybe gaps in insurance coverage, which would affect a person's ability to get treatment. Um, maybe a gap in um, healthcare services because they had a wait list. Before his release, Charles was having painful issues with his knees. Myrna Martin is a transitional health care liaison. She helped Charles to secure health insurance and ultimately schedule a procedure for his leg. Once I got my insurance, I got my, I had my knee surgery about uh, September, you know, and so it, that knee is okay now. His other knee is next, and then he's on a pathway to securing a job. Myrna also helped Charles obtain an ID card and register for Social Security and temporary housing. The goal of transitional health is to set up exiting inmates for success and remove barriers. We really started to look at what can we do pre-release to make that transition smoother. So um, it's perhaps doing assessments that would normally done on the outside, inside, before they're released. Though controversial, the program even provides exiting inmates with naloxone or Narcan, a drug which reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. Why shouldn't they leave with this life-saving drug? They're a vulnerable population. It makes sense that they should have access, direct access to this drug. The transitional health care approach puts heavy emphasis on an exiting inmate's mental and physical well-being with the goal of reducing the recidivism rate. That is keeping those who leave the prison system from ending up behind bars again. People releasing from the department are going back to all of our communities. You know, they have served their sentence. Um, they have worked hard you know, to maybe get into recovery or to address trauma from their past or to learn a new job skill. And if they're going to return to my neighborhood and your neighborhood, I think we all would want them to be prepared and healthy to come back as a productive citizen. And that's exactly what Charles wants to be and is taking the small steps to get there with some help along the way. If you get out, no matter how much confidence you got, and if you ain't got none, you just find somebody you can trust, man, because the system got to work for you, man. If they don't work for you, you got, you got nothing, dude. Well, since the program is so relatively new, it's too early to determine whether or not it's working. But it does have nearly a dozen community partners helping meet the health needs of people leaving prison. If you'd like to learn more, we have provided a link in this story on the WRTV mobile app.